Hey guys, it's VW Chris, and behind me is my brand new, new to me, 1981 Volkswagen Caddy, or some may call it the Mark 1 Ute, pickup, whatever. Uh, this is my, my personally first Mark 1. Uh, I've been fortunate enough to grow up with a bunch of other Mark 1s in my family. Uh, Dad's got quite a few and it's had a few. Now we've imported one of these before in the past from California to Australia, but I was lucky enough to find this one close to me in Georgia. And uh, it came from a gentleman who had a collection of over 40 uh, trucks. Uh, I picked this one up. It's, it's the 1.6 liter petrol gasoline engine. Sorry, 1.7 liter, I believe, uh, with the fuel injection CIS or KJET, whatever you want to call it. Depends where you are in the world. Um, but yeah, I picked this one up for a pretty, pretty good price. It has the five-speed manual, which is great, and it is an LX model, so uh, I believe top of the line. Um, it's got approximately 170,000 miles on it, so it's it's done some driving. The odometer, like most Mark ones, has stopped working and sort of comes and goes as please. So could have more, could have less. I'm not too sure exactly, but it's been a great truck to me. Um, it had sat, I believe, for about four years, since 2017 or so, um, and there was some rust repairs done uh, up in the towers, pretty common uh, issue. And uh, yeah, had some of the, the gear bushes replaced. Um, it needs one more replaced. Um, sometimes first is a bit hard to get. Steering's a little loose! Ah! Alignment's off too! But um, otherwise, it's been a good truck. I've been using it to haul just crap. <laughs> um, so it's been great getting me from A to B. Um, it's been a bunch of fun. It's a little slow. Uh, it's, not, it's not a rocket ship. Um, but we may address that in the future. Today's episode is about uh, service and maintenance. The car's sat. I don't have any service history. And you know, there's some oil leaks and whatnot around. Um, I have already replaced the spark plugs as I had a bit of a misfire, uh, a bit of a, a spit and sputter or a white throttle, but I think that is related to something else. So I haven't replaced the spark plugs already, but I have major service items, uh, oil, oil filter, fuel filter. Um, I do have a timing belt, don't know if I'll do that one today. Um, what else? Um, I've got a box of stuff which I can grab actually. So here's the box of stuff. Um, thank you to FCP Euro. They pretty much supplied everything for this truck. Uh, I couldn't believe it. I usually use FCP for a lot of my newer stuff, Mark 4, Mark 5, 6, above, whatever. Um, I entered the truck into their website. It was very easy. Um, they even had an identification of the engine by the VIN number. And it was great. I, I managed to find everything I needed. So I've got um, new cover gasket or half cover gasket. And what else do we have? Uh, we have a new distributor rotor, same as Volkswagen B. A new distributor cap. Some new coolant hoses. Uh, they had brand new coolant hoses shipped straight to my door. And uh, with free shipping, even though it's had like six or seven days, I always get myself early. Um, those guys are great. Um, even one time I had a, a, a bottle of oil split inside one of my boxes. I called them. The next day they had a brand new box sent out. All new gear. They were very, very sorry. And uh, yeah, they had me back on the road very quickly. So again, huge shout out to the guys at FCP Euro. Um, they just, they provide not only really high quality items, which I trust in all my own cars, um, but really good pricing too, and their limited lifetime warranty, I believe. So if you haven't already checked out FCP Euro, those are the guys to go to. Uh, we have some new NGK uh, ignition leads. So what else do we have? We have some Lequee Holly additives. So we have an engine flush, because I don't know how old this oil is. Uh, we have a fuel system cleaner because this will definitely need it. It sat, it had old fuel when I got it and it's been running better and better the more fuel I put in it. But we're gonna go ahead and when we replace the fuel filter, do a quick flush, everything should be clean in the fuel system. And then final stuff, 
course, our Laquie Molly Oil. This is 10W40 with MOS2 any friction. So basically, already inside this oil, we have the additives and protectants for the truck. So um, this is gonna keep the engine running for probably another 170,000 miles. I strictly use the Queen Molly only. It is a fantastic product. Um, their oil, their staff, their customer service, everything about the Queen Molly, the science, it's fantastic. It's German oil made in Germany for German cars and, and for other cars too. It's great. Any any car will be fine, but for your German cars, you've got to have German oil, just like my German oil filters and other German parts. It just works. So again, Queen Molly, fantastic products. It's all I'll use. But nonetheless, thanks for coming along and watching this journey. We're going to get stuck into it right now. So now that the engine has been flushed, drain the oil, dispose of it safely, and put in some Laquie Molly oil. And remember, with each new service, be sure to replace the sump plug gasket. Oh. <laughs> Probably explain why I had a bit of an oil leak starting. Um, it looks like a plastic. <laughs> They've used a plastic uh, O-ring for the oil sump so I've had a bit of a drip and uh, oh it's just brittle cracking off I'll show you real, a little bit closer here so as you can see it's just plastic not a metal one and that's just cracking it just cracks off yeah it's stuffed yeah look crack oh my goodness plastic what well, that is a first that is a first now, as we can see here, I have the correct copper washer, which should sit straight over, and this will provide, this will provide the correct seal that we are needing. So, there you go. Make sure you use the right one, right? Make sure to use the right parts. So, after a little bit of research, the oil filters are the same, but I have the diesel filter. Uh, I'm going to play it safe even though it looks like it all fits the same, they're like the same block and whatnot. Uh, I am probably going to run up to the parts store, grab a correct filter, I uh, hope they've got something of comparable brands in Marley or um, Hanks uh, or Man. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll head up to the parts store now, quickly grab everything. Uh, I'm about to jump on a podcast also with Old Folks Home, uh, be sure to check out those guys. Um, uh, Dan has a really, really cool um, Mark 1 Caddy, which he's just doing a PD-130 swap, diesel swap, which is pretty cool. Um, that's over across the pond in the UK. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'm going to quickly run off, quickly jump onto our podcast, and then get cracking back onto this. Okay, so apologies. Uh, that was a really long podcast, and then I had a few other things I needed to do. But without further ado, let's get stuck back into the caddy. We're going to pop some oil into the filter, screw it back in, fill up with four and a half liters, and then get packing onto the other stuff. Okay, so that is the oil change done. Unfortunately, I had to run to AutoZone and pick up a cheap mobile oil filter. Um, the one I had, thread was different, uh, so I had one for a diesel. Um, small little mistake, things happen, no problem at all. So now that the uh, service is done, I'm gonna crack on to some of the other things I bought, like the uh, rocker cover gasket and the ignition uh, leads, coils, distributor, cap, rotor, 
all of the other stuff. So let's get started on that and hopefully this will start fixing some of my little rough running issues. May not fix my cold start exactly, but hopefully it'll just start driving better, better gas mileage and oh, also a new, also a new fuel filter because uh, I don't know how old that one is. It's gonna be at least like five years old. Okay, what is going on guys? Uh, sorry, I'm editing this video right now. Uh, unfortunately, life got in the way and I forgot to record a lot of other stuff. So uh, yeah, we did miss out on doing some of the major service stuff. I do explain that in our next video. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for coming along and watching this video. Uh, it means a, a lot. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you liked it. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to making some more content this year. I'm really trying to step up my game. So uh, again, thank you for watching all the way to the end here. Uh, it means a lot. And uh, we'll see you in the next episode.